Hey guys, uh, today I'm doing a little tutorial on Xcode and it is, it is the latest Xcode which I believe is 4.3.2 and the reason I'm doing this video is actually because a lot of people have been having problems with actually other videos and trying to follow uh, books that they have bought and the reason is Xcode has slightly changed uh, since um, iOS 5 point something or maybe even iOS 5, I don't know, I can't remember when it changed but it did change instead of having a nib file which is what we had before which was uh, our interface builder file uh, what we have now is called something called a storyboard and uh, a storyboard is pretty much the same thing it's just things are in different places and things are a little different to get to and code uh, sometimes does have to be written slightly differently uh, it, it, it's nothing if you know Objective-C then you'll have no problems at all adapting to the changes but for beginners that are following books and videos you know it does get hard and uh, basically what I'm gonna do today I'm going to go with a little simple tutorial just with a simple hello world and you can then see how they compare to the old Xcode and basically the changes that I make in this hello world to other people's hello world you'll be able to see what changes you'll have to make to your other apps and as you can see here in my recents that I have tried to do other videos and literally they have taken so long because I explained so much uh, a few of them have actually gone over like 10 minutes and literally the app does one thing so I'm gonna stick with hello world and I hope you'll follow along so yeah I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of what it's going to look like and if I click run here um, um, okay so if I click run here uh, iPhone simulator will pop up and I'm just going to show you the simple app which we're going to make okay so you'll have a, a UI label here and a UI rectangular button here and when you press the button two messages will it'll change every time and the, the way we do this is using an if statement and basically we're saying if if the UI label equals uh, text goodbye world then when press me is is pressed then change it to hello world and vice versa and it's a very simple app literally there's a few lines of code just to get this and the way we do this is actually uh, if we make a new project sorry if we make a new project and we we use a single view application And we, we're going to call it Hello World, as you already know. And you can just click uh, Device Family for iPhone. And if you don't want to use Storyboards, uh, I recommend you do, obviously, because you know for iOS 5, you need to use these Storyboards. But if you're using an older firmware, then you don't have to use Storyboards. But, you know, it's better to make do with the change instead of go with the old. Okay, so once you've made the folder, and you've created the project you'll be faced with a view like this basically down the side here you have our app delegates which are basically the things that run in like the background where you can run loops and you can you can run various other little miniature programs in the background uh, such as app closing and what happens when you close the app and when you terminate the app and basically what the dot h means is dot header file and the, uh, the dot m is actually um, in implementation file and the storyboard is what our uh, nib file used to be in a way I suppose and our view controllers are everything that you see in our first interface and again dot h dot header and dot m dot implementation and there's a few changes that we're gonna have to make to uh, make this work with storyboard first of all if we go into storyboard and we create our simple very simple uh, app and what we want it to look like so if we add in the necessary things and by the way if you haven't got this menu down in the bottom right corner here you go up to uh, view and then you go into uh, where do you go into you go into utilities and you go into with object library object library down here and obviously then it turns up and you literally need it's common sense what you need you need a UI label which is text which can't be changed by the user 
basically and you need a rectangular button and you also you don't need this but you know it makes things look a little bit better uh, it's a navigation bar okay and we'll just give that a title hello world and you can you can just put this as hello uh, universe or something I don't know you can choose that and put this as like press me or anything like that it doesn't matter and basically once you've done this you press command s to save the file and then we can go into our uh, .h file so what we want uh, under, underneath this uh, interface here uh, is actually we're going to open a line of code using this little command and then we're going to use an IB outlet which is going to be called UI label and we're going to give it the label label and once you've done that you can go to the end of the code or just before the end sorry and we can uh, declare our properties of this IB outlet and it's non-atomic it's retaining and again IB outlet UI label if I can write properly uh, label Uh, we want button pressed because as soon as the button is pressed, you know, we want our code to do something. That is our action. Uh, what happened there? Okay, save that. Uh, once you've done that, you can actually go into your .m file. And in the .m file, uh, where you have... Underneath this uh, view controller here, again, uh, we... We put an at sign, and we put synthesize, and we choose lit label, and then we write our action again. Uh, our selected is button press, as you remember. I don't know if you do remember actually. And it does this sometimes. I don't know why it does this, but you know. And yep, it is sender, and we open the code at the end of this line. And basically, what we want to write here is our if statement, and. Uh, a way to think of .h and .m files is actually uh, a, a way. Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, actually, but think of it this way. So .h is actually our our phone phone book where we actually call people, okay? And .m is the actual people we call. So imagine it this way: our header file is where we request the command, and .dot the implementation file is where the command is kept. Uh, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I really can't explain it any more than that. So again, here we go. We write our if statement now. Uh, what do we write? Is equal to equal to string. As you can see, as I'm writing the code. I usually fill up the lines myself, and that's a, it's, it's a habit of mine, and sometimes it can be a bad habit because sometimes I mistype things, and Xcode wouldn't have done that if I actually used the time to uh, use Xcode to finish the lines off. But as you can see, I want to type is equal to string, and it, it actually fills in the, the necessary bits for you. So if you're learning from like a book or something, it's actually really useful, you know, because the commands, they, they come straight up. You know. Now these messages can be anything you like, but the reason why we use the first or the second if statement as the same text we used in Storyboard is because when you first launch the app and the text is different to what you have in the Storyboard, then as soon as you click Press Me, it will actually change to uh, the first label in the if statement, and you know it just makes things look a little bit better and it is kind of bad practice not to do that okay so uh... shit where am I to? Uh, label dot text Ah oh, shit see I instead of pressing end I, I, I filled the, the whole line up myself and it is kind of a bad habit but I am using Xcode in so long and the reason being is literally because, uh, well, 
I don't know why I haven't used it in so long, actually. It's I've just been busy, I suppose. Uh, equal. Here we go again. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What am I doing? Hello. Universe. And there we go. So now we have our uh, our, our loop, so to speak. And if you press Command S, always press Command S after you make a change to your code because it updates it. And um, basically, what we have here now is our if statement. And we've got our our two, you know, else changed to this or changed to this. And the good thing is, um, as you can see in this tutorial, we, uh, we didn't use our app delegates. And you're probably thinking, why? Well, we haven't had to. So what's left to do now is actually uh, link link our link our buttons up. So we want to click on the button, and we want to click on our connections tab, and we want to actually drag touch up inside to the press me view controller and then it gives us that and we also want to link up our UI label and with our label and stuff should work I hope it works now as you can see the app launches you press that and you know we get we get our two messages and the you know that's a really simple app and as you can see the changes that I made there were, were you know they, there was hardly anything it was just the way uh, the storyboard builder, whatever you want to call it, actually links its code. As you can see, it's not that different, and it is not that hard to get used to. You just have to get used to doing it that way instead of the old way. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something new. And if you have any problems, just let me know, and I'll try and get back to you. But don't go sending me a big load of code and not tell me what it does because I'm not I'm not going to be able to have a look at it okay and yeah see you soon